Hi folks, it's Andres, the guy who is making uh, Arduino-based lightsabers. Um, this time I'm going to demonstrate something which I strongly believe will have a huge impact on our favorite sport, which is Kram Fu. Folks building sabers know the pains of Kram Fu, uh, the fine art of squeezing in a lot of components in a very cramped space of, of a lightsaber hilt. Um, in my opinion, one of the biggest challenge is to accommodate two switches needed for advanced features like blaster bolt and lockup, but also for parsing through the, the, the different menu options. Um, for what I'm showing here, the credit goes fully to my buddy Damian Wing, alias DJ Wing, who had the idea to use only a single switch and still offer all the features of a high-end lightsaber. Uh, he programmed the code, explained how it worked, and as it just happened, um, I was quite frustrated over a hilt I recently bought, which had really no space for a second switch. So this idea just came at the right time for me. But uh, enough of talking, uh, let's see what the saver can do with only a single button. So this is the hilt I'm talking about. Um, it's still not completed, you can see some components dangling out, but it's fully functional. Um, as you can see, this has only a single switch. So I will pull the kill key. It's an illuminated um, momentary switch. Uh, inside the blade, uh, it's, um, there's a nail pixel. it's a nail pixel blade with a nail pixel strings. It's still not fully completed, so it has only um, one single string. You will see that um, on one side of the blade, the light is a, it's a bit less bright than on the other side. Anyway, and this uh, saber has also an, um, a dyno board inside. So, um, let's see what we can do with the single button. So, for sure we can switch it on. All the um, gesture detection will work like it used to work. Now come the really interesting features. Um, for blade lockup, you have to press the button one single time. You can see it starts to blink. This is a kind of visual feedback that uh, something special is happening. And the next clash, the lockup will be engaged. And the lockup will basically continue until you press the button again. When it comes, when it simply goes back to, to idle hum. Um, if you press the button two times, okay, it needs some exercise, but if you press the button two times, it's a double click. You can see that uh, you can see that it will also uh, start to blink, and this is basically how you can trigger um, motion trigger the blaster block. So instead of the swing recognition, it will play uh, the, the FX and the sound of the um, um, blaster block. So you can end uh, this mode uh, with a double kick again, which will um, uh, lead you back to, to Idleham. So let's see again at the lockup. One single press and simply play a clash. I personally think that um, this um, somehow simulates um, a real life, let's, let's see, real life, so as, as far as Star Wars is real life, so real life um, um, lockup, because lockup also is always preceded by, by a clash. So basically, this also helps to much better um, synchronize and, uh, um, and um, schedule the, um, the effect, because actually, you don't need to press the button when at the same time you um, hit the opponent's blade. But this will basically be triggered automatically. Now, see how the, the parsing through the menus work. So, this can also be done. Um, a single long uh, press on the button will uh, get you into config mode. Config mode, sound font. So here you can have the you can select the sound font. Uh, you can simply um, go up and and parse through the the, the sound font banks. Um, 
you, if you press the button two times, it's a so-called double click. Oh, yeah. It will uh, lead you to the next uh, menu uh, item, which is the, the volume selection. This uh, has already the, the max volume, so I will not going to change it. Afterwards, you can go to the um, color selection. So here you can actually also uh, go through the different colors. Class color. If you make a double click again, it will go. It will uh, basically advance you to the clash color. Now let's select something new. Blast. And finally, you can go to the blast color. Okay, let's um, select something a very um, light yellow. And if you press the um, button long, so the long press, then you will exit the, uh, the config mode. Um, actually, when I first thought about the single button mode, I saw that um, at least some of the features I have to um, forfeit. But it's not true, even the, the jug box uh, um, was implemented uh, by Dami and Wink. Um, so um, if in the um, standby mode you click the button two times, This is an exercise, as I said. Oh, yeah. Then it goes into the MP3 player mode where you can basically um, stop the sound, restart it again, or if you press the button long, then it will uh, move you to the next song. My favorite. And the double kick will uh, end the jackbox mode. And you can switch on the saber again. Now it's a different color that you choose. So blue main blade color, um, a purple flesh color. And um, if we now trigger the blaster ball, uh, it's still like of course, I wanted to have uh, these uh, extended features also for my uh, um, Saber, which has uh, two um, buttons. So this one, which I use also for some of the other demos, this is um, uh, two buttons. Um, so what I did with this one is, um, I wanted to have this um, clash triggered uh, lockup also for this one. So if I press the button once on this saber with a single button, you can see it starts to blink, which says uh, that uh, it's ready to receive a clash and uh, trigger a um, uh, lockup. You can do the same uh, with the main button on, on this saber. And then if I hit them, And both will start the glass song, the lock up song. And I can uh, basically turn it off also with a single short click on the main button. So, guys, this was it all. I hope you, li you like it. I'm certainly very excited about uh, not having to uh, always uh, put in two switches into my ears. This uh, basically will make my work uh, much easier. And as you can see, actually, um, there is no single features which has to be omitted because lack of uh, a second button. So all the different features what you expect from a high-end sa saber can be implemented using one single button, which is actually, in my opinion, quite good. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye.